is to take the bronze. Ladies and gentlemen, the Olympic medalists. Charles, this is the It will be time for some photos and there'll be plenty of those around as well. They just came up with a big play when it mattered. There was a big winning margin in the, the World Championships last year in Kazan and, and they've done it again with another great margin here. Yeah, they have. Uh, they've hung in there for a fair while, up until half time, but the three goal margin then started to extend. And the big plays were always theirs. The Italians, they'll be very pleased with this. It's interesting that the, the three teams, obviously the gold medalists are elated. But the Croatians, they can't get off there quick enough, can they? They just want to get out of there. But, and yes, they're defending champions, but this is the best side in the world. Have been so for a couple of years. I mean, how much of Croatia suffered from that? The loss of Petkovic as coach, obviously he turned up with Brazil, but is there a feeling that maybe he was the, the main man, the driving force oh, behind them? Yeah, look, well, I think we're rooted for him. I think there was a feeling that he probably would go, uh, given his age. It, it's almost like a superannuation, four years in in, uh, in Brazil. And whether he'll coach again, I don't know. Maybe he will. But to lose Fatovic as well, I thought, has just cut the heart out of, out of their coaching. And I think the coach has done well to go from junior level to coach at this level and, and to get them to a silver medal game. All said and done, though, I don't think Rudic makes any difference to the, to the outcome of that match. The other side right now is just a little better. And they've got the, the, the greatest player in the world and their goalkeeper tonight was outstanding as well. We just see the, the look on the Italians' faces, as we mentioned there in the, in the ceremony. You know, they've had the euphoria of beating Hungary to win a medal as such. And it's more a question maybe that Croatia have lost the medal as opposed to winning a silver. Abs absolutely. There's, there's no doubt about that. And uh, it's a pesky in, in the middle of all of that, as you've already mentioned, and Pari as well. You already mentioned, though, you know, five Olympic Games. First goalkeeper to do it and to take some silverware with you on the way out, take the medal. But look at Filipovic, he's going crazy. Look, I tell you what, I hope there's no one in their section of their uh, village that needs to compete tomorrow because it's going to be very noisy. Yeah, I think they'll enjoy a, a nice evening. This evening it may well be their last evening here, of course, not too sure when they'll be flying out of here. They may well be staying around for the closing ceremony, but it's been a fitting end to what's been a fantastic water polo. And over the last couple of weeks, you know, we've seen some great play in the men's and the women's competition. Yes, we have. And I think rightly, the two best sides have won. Sometimes you'll, find, you'll see those upsets, but look, the Americans, they, they really did school the Italians yesterday. They were way too good. And the best side here is one, and uh, that's the Italians on screen at the moment. And they're mighty happy with their bronze medal. Well, they can't pass the Hungarians, of course, who had such a, a marvellous record at Olympic Games, but just falling away, and the new guard may be coming in now. But they'll look to build on this. They'll have to manage without Tempesti, of course. But Del Lungo has proved that he's a, an able replacement in the side. But it's the Serbians that are the noisiest of the three, as you can imagine. I mean, well, the Croatians don't really know what to do with themselves at the moment. No. They're just sticking around and they just, as you say, they just want to go, reflect and then, you know, just move on to the next tournament. Yeah, they're showing some respect for the 